There are a number of NFPA standards that cover combustible dust safety, which is the number one place we here in North America look to for guidance on how to protect our people and our assets. First and foremost is the NFPA 652 standard. NFPA 652 is the fundamental standard for combustible dust and it applies to all who are handling or generating combustible dust within their facilities. NFPA 652 also references a number of industry specific documents such as NFPA 61 which covers food and agriculture, NFPA 664 which covers wood and woodworking operations, NFPA 654 which covers general industry such as chemicals, plastics, and pharmaceuticals. Additionally, there are a number of NFPA documents that are what we call how-to standards. How-to standards include standards that inform us on what the best practices are to prevent or mitigate the hazards related to combustible dust. Some examples of this would be NFPA 68 for explosion venting of deflagrations, NFPA 69 for explosion prevention systems, NFPA 77 for the control of static electricity, and NFPA 499, which helps us understand and determine electrical classification. In any case, these standards are enforced by a number of authorities having jurisdiction, AHJs. These might include OSHA or other regulatory agencies. It might include insurance companies who have a vested interest in ensuring that you and your process stay safe, or it could be local fire code officials during the permitting process. As you go through the NFPA standards, we want to make sure that we are clearly and efficiently identifying which standards are applicable and how they apply. An expert from DustCon Solutions can help you navigate these ever-changing and complex set of regulations.